As well as being able to just type into text frames, we can copy and paste just like any other application as well. So if I just pan to the headline lower down and just zoom out as well, get a good clear view of that. I'll head to Microsoft Word and triple click in this line of text for the headline, right click, choose copy and go back to InDesign. Now with nothing selected inside of InDesign, if I just pan to the side of the page here with the space bar, if I paste from here, then InDesign will paste into a brand new text frame, but it will apply the default type formatting, which is Minion Pro regular 12 points on 14.4 leading, and the text will be black. And then in our case, that's not what I want. So I can delete that and then pan back and double click on the text frame and then select all the text and then choose edit and paste. And that will put my headline in there. If you prefer to, you can copy and paste from one application to another. If there is no text frame active, InDesign will create a text frame to put that new content into. But if you do have a text frame active, it will pick up and detect whatever the formatting is that was last used in that part of the text frame. And as you can see here, it's a good time saver. Finally, I'll hit the escape key and then click to the side of the page to deselect.